Hello everyone and welcome to Power Playground. This is your host Michael and today I'm going to show you all how to diagnose and fix an issue with a uh, with a thermal printer, specifically the Zebra thermal printers, the direct thermal printers, not the ribbon ones. I just want to show you all my solution that worked great. Now what was happening was whenever, let me, let me print out a label for a quick demonstration here. I'm not going to show a shipping label that I usually do with this printer just because there's so much information on it. I'll, really don't want to go through the trouble of blurring for such a short video, but what happens is right in this like strip of the printer where the, uh, the print head would be on this side, like not quite on the corner, but more just in this quadrant here, there's like a giant streak that happens intermittently. Now, normally what I would do is I'd dip one side of a cotton swab in isopropyl alcohol. Sorry, I had to uh, two-hand that operation. I clipped at both tabs. And I would just clean this strip up here and then just dry it off with the other side of the cotton swab. But that was not working. One thing I noticed is that this print head, uh, it, it's kind of just like clipped in this little area here. I believe that you can just easily swap it out. You just take these two connectors off. But yeah, essentially you just take these two little connectors off and you just unclip it right here. But there is a bit of a problem. I was trying to tighten these connectors just to make sure they're contacting nice. And I noticed that you can really push this thing quite a bit. It kind of slides. Let's see if I can do. Yeah, as you can see, there's quite a bit of give on that. So what I did was I straightened out both sides and pushed it up as much as I possibly could. Once I got it straightened out, everything's nice and clean. This thing prints perfectly now. So obviously I just, I uh, press the lid down once I'm done cleaning and uh, pushing the head up a little bit, press the button and yeah, it was, it printed perfectly fine. So uh, let's see here. I'm trying to, let me double, let me get back with you all real quick. I'm going to try to con print test config pages to show this. All right, figured out just the way for the light to blink once. So there we go. As you can see, there's no streaking. Prints out clear as day. That's actually some of the best printing I've seen this thing do in a long time. So definitely night and day compared to last. Like I said, there's a streak right along this edge, pretty much right in the middle of this, these two lines of text here. So as you can see, it is uh, perfectly fine and good. I didn't zoom in on any of my IP address information, which like it matters, it's all internal, but uh, hey, that's a nice bonus. But yep, that's about it for this video here, folks. I hope that helped out. Like I said, just try to get that as straight as possible and bring it more towards this uh, top area of the printer. And that should uh, get you going again. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more cool DIY and all sorts of tech related videos and have a great day.